Are we live? Oh, yes, we are. Oh, we live. Hi. Hi. How you doing? The triumphant return of us. We're back. <laughs> we missed the week, but we're back. Yeah, we missed the week, but ex Evan will explain it. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, first, first I just want to say that i um, glad to be back. Uh, back in the uh, the chair, the saddle, whatever the fuck you collectively want to call it. Um, I'm probably gonna. I might seem like a little lethargic. I'm fucking exhausted, dude. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's That's fucking. Okay. It is like so strange to me. I worked. This is the first day I've gone back to work. Yeah. Um, and uh, I it I beat my ass, dude. I it literally is like I haven't done anything in. You know, feels like I haven't done anything in months, but it's only been about a week and a half or something like that. Uh, mm. So basically what happened was last week um, we had the episode. We recorded an episode with our good Craig. buddy, Craig, yeah. um, which uh, if you haven't checked that out, please go check that out because that was a fucking awesome time. And, um, after that, I went to sleep. I wasn't feeling great to begin with. And, uh, I kind of knew I was like, ah, you know, it's cold stuff. I was like, ah, I typically am one of these people. You get a fucking cold when the weather changes. And it was starting to get nice out. The cold in this area was kind of going away. So you had the weird fucking days where like one day it's like, you know, 60 and beautiful. The next day it's like fucking 34 and freezing. Mm. So I, that typically me working outside that typically fucks me up at least once a year. Well, uh, it really fucked me up this year. <laughs> <laughs> Come Friday, I am full blown flu fever, everything. So uh, I didn't, I didn't go to work. I didn't do anything. I didn't even get out of bed the whole fucking day basically i didn't move um yeah i had full-blown fucking covid um i only was able to find out because i have a friend who is in the national guard and he had access to a quick response test and so my wife and i uh actually went out and got that test I took the test and I was positive. So that's how I found out. She wasn't positive, right? Uh, so this, so of course, you know, I live with my wife and I currently have two roommates. And so after I found out I was positive, I isolated in this room here. Where you <laughs> I had this, this pulls out to a bed. I had the bed, I had the TV up there. I was living bachelor pad style, dude. <laughs> it was, uh, it was interesting. Although it sucked because like for the first half Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I, I was full blown fucking sick. I couldn't, I really didn't move a lot. Didn't do a whole lot. Um, lost weight fucking in that short, that short amount of time. I lost like, you know, almost 10 pounds or something and fucking, Damn. you know, I was just fucking sick. And um, then they all, everyone else basically got sick. My roommates got sick. They got oh. it. They got it pretty bad. My wife oh. actually did not get sick, but she did test positive. Shit. She had a uh, headache or whatever for a little while. Um, but she actually didn't, you know, like I had a fever and like the body aches and the weakness and stuff, which I have to say, um, out of like getting the flu and things like that, um, to rebuttal the people that just say it's just the flu, that shit is probably, that is the worst part of it is the mm -hmm. fact, the fact that you can't get up, like to move for the first two three days took pretty much everything i had to just Damn. do anything to just move at all let alone Shit. get better so you know i i wasn't on i didn't go to the hospital i wasn't on like any um 
you know, IVs or, you know, I didn't have like any other like medical help or anything. I had day quill, night quill, some tea and, uh, you know, I, I drank a lot of water and had a lot of fluids and ate a lot of oranges. So, you know, that's kind of what I did. And, you know, eventually, you know, it, it worked itself. I don't get sick for long, which I'm lucky in that aspect. You know, I, I typically can kick stuff pretty easily. Um, yeah. So, you know, it took me two, three days. It's actually just as I remember it because uh, back almost a year ago, I got sick before COVID was even like acknowledged. And I got mm. sick again. I got sick just like that fucking. And um, me and my other roommate at the time both got it. And uh, we pretty much were, were convinced that we had it. So it was almost exactly like what I had had a year prior. Yeah. And sure. uh, yeah, the, just that, just the weakness, the body aches, like you can't, like, it was a struggle to fucking do anything, hmm. let alone, you know, fucking eat and all that other shit so we i i told phil we decided we're not gonna have we weren't gonna have an episode he had some stuff going on with overdose uh so you know which i'm sure he'll tell you about in a little bit and um so i we just took the fucking week off so uh you know if you guys are wondering if anyone was out there wondering that's why it it's just and even right now you know like like i said i went to work today and it felt like I had worked in fucking six months. <laughs> it really had only been about a week and a half. It, it's funny because it reminds me when I was sick, like in 2019, when I got my esophagus problem with internal bleeding and all that shit, like I wasn't able to move <laughs> because like I, I was missing blood. Blood was like spitting everywhere from my butt. <laughs> so yeah, so like, so, so like, I understand your feeling because when I was like in the hospital bed, I was like linked to every machine possible. And I was like, a, uh, and then I tried to just get up. I was like, uh, I can't, Yeah, <laughs> I can't do all, it. <laughs> it's pretty much just like all that energy that you don't use when yeah. you're just fucking laying there. And yeah. then it's like... <laughs> Like, I didn't really go to the bathroom, and not because I didn't have to go to the bathroom. Pretty much just because my body was like, nah, we, we ain't moving. Like, <laughs> we're not moving, you know? So, like, I, you move your I'm drinking. <laughs> I'm drinking all this water all the time, drinking all these fluids and shit. And so, I'm try I'm peeing, like, constantly. But so, it's like every fucking movement was just... It, it just took so much more effort. It took like double the effort than you would have normally. And and some people might say, oh, well, that's the flu, you know, but like, look, it's like, I didn't have any breathing problems. Maybe I did. And I'm just confusing all this effort stuff with the breathing problems. I don't know, but I didn't really have any issues. I didn't get checked out by a doctor. Um, I just was like, fuck dude, I can't, you know, like it was just tough to do anything. So yeah um anyway i mean yeah you know shit's not fun they do say that you know i am told by the uh you know the covid police here that you know now i'm 90 days good you know the the chance of catching it quickly again is very slim so uh, i feel good about that Uh, i can't taste i can't Mm. smell although my taste and smell uh, you know they're coming back. It's been a couple of days. Uh, I stopped having, I finally got better uh, last Tuesday. Okay. Last Tuesday I got better and uh, I was cleared from quarantine uh, this fall, this last, this Tuesday, this Tuesday I was cleared. So uh, I've been good now for a while, uh, but yeah, I can't taste smell like that kind of that kind of sucks uh especially when you uh are part of a podcast that has some beer (laughs) that you try (laughs) to indulge in and you fucking can't describe it um so you're gonna have you're all gonna have to bear with me for a while because uh 
the taste buds just they aren't firing at all cylinders like they should there's some things i can taste still and then there's some things that like it's so weird because it's like you like i know what they should taste like and like i just can't i got nothing i had chicken broccoli alfredo uh for dinner today and uh nope couldn't taste the alfredo sauce <laughs> couldn't taste the fucking i could barely taste the chicken the broccoli i could taste the broccoli that was it dude what i'm curious though there's something i'm curious because you don't taste but the texture is here so that is why <laughs> i'm very selective now <laughs> right now i'm currently very selective about what i eat because um that exact reason the texture is still there and it just it everything just is like oatmeal think of it like that think of like plain (laughs) plain fucking oatmeal it just you know you feel it and like you got nothing it's just straight tofu in this bitch all the time you know damn it's just so shit you know i'm i i am happy that like hot sauces and stuff i still got some of that um uh, yeah, I, mean, I tried on Saturday. I tried having some beers. Uh, I had two. I had that uh, puff tart that I had yeah. with uh, Craig, which was I knew it was like super. It was like super flavorful and juicy, and uh, I got nothing. Nothing. Shit. I could taste nothing. Uh, it was just, uh, you know, for all I knew, it was just. Um, you know, water or whatever, you know, <laughs> like it, and like I knew it was beer. It just didn't taste, it didn't taste like anything. And then I grabbed this, a super hazy IPA, nothing. I got <laughs> nothing out of that. So I was like, oh, okay. So this is going to be fucking sweet, you know, like. Okay. So you don't taste it, but you feel like there's alcohol in it. Oh, I mean, I get the effects of the alcohol and all that. I just, but you like, don't, you don't taste the alcohol, you taste nothing. I, I, I don't I don't I don't it, it kind of reminds it kind of feels like I'm drinking Narragansett all the time <laughs> kind of does it kind of if, for those that don't know what that is uh Narragansett lager just that's exactly what everything tastes like right now you know and I like Gansett so I'm not I mean like dude beer's beer so like you know you're probably gonna see me a couple times like I'm not gonna have a craft as much as that sucks but like Dude, I honestly, as as much as I love it, I'm not gonna. I can't spend the money if I can't enjoy it. Like it just fizz, Like I can't do it. Yeah, no, you know? that's be- that that's better for you. Just don't oh, spend dude. all the money, all your your hard working money on beers that you can't taste. <laughs> that dude, doesn't make any sense. It's it's so <laughs> like you guys don't understand how crushing it is to know that like. I have I still have beer in my fridge that like I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it until my taste comes back I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna dude, do dude dude make a box and put like oh it's oil and shirts for Phil yeah <laughs> oh and that remind that also reminds me I got a bone to pick with a lot of these fucking people out here and um you know I tell people you have uh, let me rephrase. And you know how you've you've fucking noticed how um you know no no news is good news. You ever you ever you, ever, you fucking people you ever fucking deal with this? Like so I'm I'm telling people like obviously I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I can't taste, I can't, whatever. And uh you know, everybody is you know, you get normal human beings who are like, oh yeah, no, that's cool, dude. You know, yeah, we'll come back, whatever. You know, that sucks, but what? And then you get straight up fucking lunatics who literally, like, nothing good to say at all. Like, dude, mm. I'm I'm already down. Like, and then some people come in and then they're like, ah, I'll just kick you in the fucking face while you're here. You know, just they're like, oh, yeah, you know, I know someone never came back, you know, oh, it, you know, it's not, they're permanently lost it, you know, oh, he's, he hasn't had it for a year, it's like, 
look, guys, I seriously, like, what the fuck? You know, I don't want to hear about the worst case scenario. You know, when, why did everybody suddenly become worst case fucking scenario all the goddamn time? Like, yeah, just just whatever happened to the just cordial little. Ah, oh, that sucks. Hope you feel better. Like, that's that's all you know, that's all you got to say. But you don't have to write me a fucking paragraph about, you know, Oh yeah, dude, that's it. It's over. Never tasting again. You know, your life is garbage. Like sick. <laughs> it's <been> sick. <laughs> we are living in the world of fear. Oh my God. We are living in a world of fear. And I realized that when COVID hits, when COVID was hitting one year ago, uh, my government, uh, our prime minister was like, He didn't know what to do with that shit. Like every government in the world, they didn't know what to do. And what they did was the worst thing. Instead of like being, okay, it's going to be okay. We have solution or we tried on solution. Yeah, they did that, but they were like, stay home. This is fair. Sex is no good. Oh no, I, I'm going outside of the track, but y you know what I mean? Like they're, they're like, oh, going together is no good. This is no good. You don't do that or you will be arrested, motherfucker, or something like that. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Oh my God. Yeah. Like, I can you? Be a little bit more positive. Can you be a little bit more like ju just say, okay, we are in the same case, everyone. Um, we tried to do something, but don't just put a fucking dagger of fear over our heads and just like just say, oh, this dagger could fall at any time. Uh, any fucking time that dagger would fall on you and you will fucking die. And like, you know, <laughs> look, people, like. The other thing, uh, yeah, like that fucking, oh my God, that would just drive, that drives me up a fucking wall. It's like, dude, I don't like, I'm not looking for your fucking sympathy, but like, mm. I'm not looking for you to fucking, you know, tell me, the, you know, the, the, the fucking verses of, you know, whatever the fucking see, you know, like all your fucking opinions. Like, I'm not looking for your, your goddamn opinions. Like yeah. really, that's what it comes down to. Just because, just because I asked or I said something, doesn't mean that I want your feedback. I hmm. don't really care. You yeah. know, it just boggles boggles my my goddamn mind. You know, like, and and it's always from fucking people that like don't directly. I don't really talk to. Hmm. You know, it's just like in passing like these random these random fucking creeps it's like dude yeah i don't you know when when the fuck did this start happening like everybody's fucking worst case you know like oh hey you know that's great like i hey you know what before i go nuts and i just oh. scream on my mic again uh let's take some beer <laughs> oh my god yeah seriously. <laughs> yeah do you want to present yours <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I might as well. I'm trying to get my fucking music to play. It's not fucking playing because I was like, why is it so quiet? And I was like, oh, yeah, it's because I don't have my fucking background noise. Oh, you put some background noise on your side. Yeah, because uh, I can't like I love I love your voice, dude. But like I need something else like in the distance. You love my voice, but you don't like it. <laughs> I, just, I know my I just, voice is not good. I know I got the voice of Bill Burr. I know it. <laughs> I, just, dude, I just I just need a little I just need a little something. You know what I'm saying? Let's put some paysage divide or some black metal like. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> fucking, fucking thing just doesn't play. Ding dong. I'll figure it out later. Um, so yeah, St. Patty's Day happened. Uh, <laughs> um, real quick. Um, yeah, uh, still don't care that I had COVID. I'm still going out. So um, fuck all you people. Um, I had a Guinness. I have Guinness. Uh, one because uh, yeah, St. Patty's Day just happened. I had a bunch of it on uh wednesday celebrating so um made our own celebrations of course um and uh two uh i can't taste so might as well keep drinking it you know because uh 
I don't know if you know this, but Guinness doesn't exactly have, it has what I would call an acquired taste, uh, but not like super tasteful, you know? I like Guinness because of, because of how it, um, oh, Jesus. Of course it was going to do that. Yeah, I was not prepared. I'm never prepared. In case you guys yeah, but Guinness that. is like that. <laughs> yeah, you know. See, I, I kind of, I kind of should have thought of that. Um, so uh, now I'm gonna let Phil introduce that, and uh, I'm gonna clean up. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a guinea, and it's not fucking. Doing it's good so, guinea. It's not doing so hot <laughs> at the moment. Yeah. Right. Okay, so guys and gals, here's my beer. This is I like big hops and I cannot lie from Brasque General and it's an IPA uh, from Brasque General. Brasque General in Quebec City they are doing some pretty good shit and pretty good beer. Uh, smooth and juicy IPA brewed with Idaho 7, El Dorado and Azica varieties. So I will repeat it for Evan when he go up. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so uh, right. I got this beer. I will repeat it because you're here. It's called I Like Big Hops. <laughs> and I cannot lie. That's a wonderful, wonderful uh, I, title. There. I, I was like, oh, <laughs> for fuck friend for that time. Let's go on big English. It's not an English beer, but it's, it's an English name. It's better like that. So, yeah. Brasque General, that's the name of the company. It's a smooth and juicy IPA uh, brewed with Idaho 7, El Dorado, and Azica varieties. So, it's from Quebec City, and uh, honestly, it's pretty good. So, let's taste that little fucker. Ooh. And <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> We are we are dripping. We are the beer. not. We are not in good shape today, guys. No, we We're are not. not in good shape. We are not because I dripped all on my keyboard. For fuck's sake! <laughs> oh, it's God. fucking good. It's dripping yeah. all everything I own. I yeah, got a shower. Are, we are not. We are not in good shape right now. We're not in good shape. So this episode is brought to you by Manscaped. <laughs> I wish, dude. I, I, hope, I hope they fucking call us up and they're like, "Hey, you like your shit? You want to uh, advertise?" <laughs> that could be so nice. Like, there's a ton, a shit ton of of podcasts and video and all that is doing Manscaped. So I hope I will have one. Because I want to have Manscaped, but it's expensive a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> but they say it does wonders for your balls. Your balls will thank you. <laughs> yeah, your, your manhood and all that fun fucking garbage. If you nick your sack, just send it back. Like yeah. Jeff Bush's. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, okay, so what is a team? Oh, yeah, news. News. We're talking news, folks, um, which is funny because, uh, you know, me and uh, Phil were kind of looking at stuff and uh, we quickly realized that um, metal news is uh, basically not news at all. Yeah. It's fucking opinion pieces and garbage and cluttered with crap. So uh, that's yeah, all. but realize that Probably why I've never paid attention to it. Dude, realize that it's like reviews. Reviews is not um, very subje- objective. It's a, the news is not very objective either. Well, you know, trying to figure out if Dave Mustaine would could have been a uh, you know the lead singer of the Jackson Five doesn't really strike me as a review or even great journalism. Just kind of strikes me as someone was fucking lazy and decided. To hey. you know, play the guessing games. <laughs> With the voice of Dave Mustaine. What is this? <laughs> what, are we, what the fuck are we doing? Here? 
<laughs> there seriously is nothing to report. <laughs> you're, you're, that's what you're gonna roll out, dude. <laughs> and you know, you know that they were just like fucking sitting there at the table, you know, TMZ style, and they were like, "Oh, wait a minute, I got something." I was straight at home. I was having a couple bush lights, <laughs> the joint, and uh, you know, Jackson Five came on. And I was like, yeah, but I had my Megadeth shirt. So I, I, so I caught myself in the mirror, dude. And then it came to me. It came to me. What if Dave Fustain was the vocalist for the Jackson 5? And then they all just sat. Yeah, they all just sat there. <laughs> and <in> print. <laughs> That's what they do. That's what they do. So whatever. I don't know, dude. I, You know. I, I saw that the other day and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Tell what me something. <laughs> okay, so let, let's go on something a little bit more serious than fucking Jackson 5 and Dave Mustaine. Um, if you are a new metal child, do you know uh, the band Flaw? No, no, I don't. No, you don't. You don't know Flaw? Well, uh, shocking revelation! Uh, Fla Frontman calls fan N-word, adds, you are all white, so that's not racist. So, like, that's super I, smart. I see that on under, and it's Metal Injection. Metal Injection is, like, a little bit <laughs> less than... Loudwire, in a sense, Loudwire, I think, sometimes is a little, a little bit more cancerous in terms of metal news. Metal injections sometimes are giving some good news, but sometimes they're just, like, following the Loudwire trend. And, and sometimes like, I wonder if Dave Mustaine, vote, like, is in the head of other bands, you know? Or they, big, they're wondering if they've... Uh, if, uh, big what, Megadeth uh, fans. Or they're wondering if uh, Corey Taylor, what, what does Corey Taylor think about that? <laughs> uh, yeah they're they're just they're just constantly thinking about stuff over there that's what they're doing but yeah so to come back with flaw uh like he was doing a show and like christopher vols which is the front man was calling a fan uh, in the crowd an n-word because like um this fan was going up on stage and like he was doing shit and like the front man just said the N word in front of this dude. And now the, there's something that you are may, maybe just thinking about. You're like, Flaw is still a band. Flaw is playing show right now in this pandemic. What the fuck? There's a, lot, there's a lot wrong with us. And people actually went to see that band. <laughs> and who made this rule that it's okay to call white people the N word? Like it, it, it's it, it doesn't make sense. Like calling people uh, white people n word. It's like it, it's not your right to do so. You don't have to to say that. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, mm -hmm. and <laughs> there's okay. So like they, they are making excuses on your on their social media of what I can see. Um, And yeah, like, they're just making fucking excuses ju just to, like, oh, uh, I said something, but I assume it. I assume that I, that I said the N-word in front of white people, but white people, it's okay. So, yeah, it's not because you said the N-word in front of white people that it's still okay. It's the it, fact that it's you an said insult. it at all. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's an insult nonetheless it's an insult that you are white black or asians or mexican or whatever it's an insult so i don't understand that just uh, that, that just makes me sick some people that just think oh because we are white we can do everything we want yeah i mean This all goes back to my stance on every, you know, everyone's got a fucking opinion and you're supposed to know everybody's opinion. Dude, honest to God, and I mean this with all the love and respect in my heart. Um, artists, athletes, 
um, people from fucking Home Depot that I mm. see passing. Uh, people I see in the line at Dunkin' Donuts. Um, dude, if you got political views and you got fucking a, an opinion about anything other than what you do for a living or like what you've experienced, like anything like that, I don't fucking give a shit. I don't care. I don't want to know. Um, and that's it. That's just, I don't care, dude. I don't fucking care. You know, if, if you're a white dude and you're upset that, um, you know, the black lives matter thing is going on and, and you're just too dumb to fucking figure out why, you know, why it's a uh, valid thing and whatever, you know, I, I don't care. I don't care about your fucking opinion. Um, and, and, and like I said, you know, I'm a, I'm just a big proponent on, I'm in the trades. So I always like to approach things the way I would approach my job. Like I'm not going to go ask the carpenter to fucking move, you know, some wiring, you know, I'm not going to go ask a fucking plumber if he can, uh, you know, fix the roof, you know, like just like shit like that. Like why, what, you know, he does, he has no, like, they have no fucking clue. They have no idea. I'm not going to fucking do that. I'm going to call the right people that deal with these things. Like, and mm. the same thing goes for politics and the same thing goes for, you know, civil rights activists and stuff like that. If you're an actual civil rights activist, then yeah, you can fucking yell up and down the side of me about why something is the way it is and whatever. But if you're a fucking, and if you're a politician, you can fucking yell up and down the side of me about whatever, you know, it is that, you know, you are and whatnot. But like, yeah, if you're Joe from fucking McDonald's that randomly just, you know, caught my ear in the line, like, dude, I don't care about, you know, where you stand and what you do and whatever. I don't ever, I will never care. And, and the same goes for you know, athletes, artists, like, yeah, look, I'm glad that all these people like to show face to all of this stuff, but like it, in my opinion, it does more harm than good because what it does is it brings out the idiots. It brings out the jackasses because the way that I see media is it is it's never anything good because good things don't sell. Mm. You know what I mean? It's why yeah. everybody's so fucking miserable all the goddamn time. When's the yeah. last, like, good shit doesn't sell. You know, like, happy stories don't sell. The news might have, like, one or two, you know, and it's like, the, if they, and it's fucking stuffed in, like, the 10 o'clock hour when nobody's going to fucking watch it. You know, and it's just, like, filler shit. You know, everybody wants to know about the, the you know, the fucking bombing or, you know, the riots going on or whatever because they want to form their own god psychological opinions and make themselves feel fucking good like exactly. that's all that shit ever is you know and and people get so fu and people get so fucking hyped on it and they get so worked up you know because it's all about i'm better than you and my way of thinking is better than yours and that's all it ever is dude so it's like you know i don't care uh, what the fuck you know LeBron James thinks about anything. He's a basketball player. What's his, you know, that's the only time, that's the only thing I'm ever going to listen to him on is, is basketball. You know, it, it, uh, you know, I, the only time I ever really want to listen to, you know, musicians is like, you know, about their music. Now, you, if, if a musician wants to talk about the, the subject matter based on their music and lyrics and things like that, you know, fine that's your that's a whole different that's a whole different thing um you know but still like i don't want to hear i, I don't want to hear about all the uh the, the conspiracy theory like your personal shit like it, it just it's just so overwhelming dude like not everybody's fucking opinion really matters hmm. i think a lot of i think that hurts a lot of people because i think that nowadays everybody just thinks that you know because of social media and things like that, that you can just fucking spout your shit and, you know, everybody's, you're either going to get backed, you're going to get hated. There's just one of the two. I, th I think the problem, like you said it uh, in, in your statement, but I think the problem is more, 
It's related to the medias and it's related in the fact that we have access to those medias, to the social media. We have access to it because before that, it was only like a journal or a newspaper or something. It was, it, it was only them with magazines and TV and radio. It was only that. Like, social media were uh, was not... Where it, it wasn't existing at that time. Like, mm -hmm. maybe, like, 15 years ago or something. Or, le like, 10 years ago and plus. It wasn't existing at all. And uh, let's say 15. But, yeah, you know what I mean. It was not existing. Uh, so, people wasn't able to tell their opinions they were not uh, mm -hmm. free to tell their opinions because like they didn't have like this they didn't have a newspaper <coughs> to tell that so no. like when facebook arrived and twitter and all that it was like the the biggest door the biggest open door just to be like oh i can tell my own shit i can form in my shit on everyone Brah! like let's uh, let's just like spread cancer everywhere my cancerous opinions that's good <laughs> yeah like fuck like Everyone got his opinions. I got mine. I'm saying that opinions of others are like, you can just keep them in your ass and it would be good. <laughs> like, keep it where it's from. Your ass. Yeah. And so, um, real yeah. quick, I fully accept that I'm pretty much a hypocrite in that sense because... Yeah, we are. <laughs> I, You know, you listen to punk and you listen to a bunch of different um, music, metal for stuff like that. And they are, they're all politically driven lyrics and they all come from a politically driven place. Um, but you know what? It, I almost, I kind of like that better because at least, at least what you're doing is you're doing it in a creative way where you can voice your opinions in a, an almost entertaining way where you can, you can kind of unify some people and you, you know, you get on the same page and stuff like that. That that's fine because all you're doing is putting out music. And if, and if you like it, you you're listening to it. And if you don't, you're not listening to it. Yeah. You know, but what I don't like is, a lot of like the forceful opinions and the judging and the culture that comes along with, you know, people in a place where I don't think that it's not that they're uninformed, but like their platform doesn't necessarily, you know, agree with like, there's conflictions in your platform. You know what I mean? Like it's conflicting to me. Like a lot of time I look at athletes and stuff that have, you know, their own, their own political values and stuff like that. And like, I, it's great that they have them. You want to know that a lot of these people that are famous and have all this money are still human, you know, mm. but it's like, you know, it, you're coming from a place of privilege as it is, you know, you're coming from a place where, you know, I know for a fact that if somebody put a gun to your head and said, Hey, you know, you're going to spend the, you, you got to spend X amount of money to help this cause that you said you would help, you know, and, and they probably wouldn't fucking do it because they live a certain lifestyle. You know, they're accustomed to living that lifestyle. I just think really what it came down to is, yeah, like, like, Phil, like you just said, they're so used to people wanting their opinions that they just kind of are like, here's my opinion on this. Here's my opinion on that. Here's my opinion on this rather than just fucking focusing on, you know, the thing they do and the yeah. thing that just kind of keeps shit going. Like, I don't know, man. It's just, it gets ridiculous sometimes. Mm, it lot. does. It just gets ridiculous. Yeah. I completely agree with you. Like, fuck. Yeah. There, 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 there was a phrase that got in my mind and it's a French phrase, but I will translate it. It's the world is going, it, the world is going worse than it is because it's going better. The, yeah. the world is worse because it's going better. Because like, 
we see all those problems about racism and sexism mm. and all the word in ism. And we are like, oh, let's try to resolve the ism. Let's try to uh, erase the ism. Like the the extreme left are like, oh, uh, let's erase it. Censor, cancel culture, yeah, blah, blah. Like Hitler didn't exist. Oh, who is Hitler? Hitler didn't, didn't exist. It didn't like put an holocaust or something. No, cancel culture. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, like we are trying to resolve all those problems that that happened years and years and years ago but because we are doing that it's going worse like it's devising people the, yeah. we are not uni unifying the world we should I, unify and not devise it i think <laughs> that yeah I, i mean i i agree you know I think that all that all that really happens is, you know, at the end of the day, you just it comes from a good place. You know, all these intentions, all these things, yeah. it comes from a good place. But, you know, nobody can ever, you know, it's how this world works. You can't you can't just do a good thing and then just be like, oh, yeah, you know, everybody's going to acknowledge it and respect it. You got to be like extreme fucking crazy and like you got to do some fucking crazy shit to get attention and stuff you know you have to you know it has to be something that's grabbing and entertaining and and whatever yeah. um I, i mean yeah dude it it sucks it sucks that um you know this is pretty much what like people are turning into thinking that you know the self-importance And not yeah. say, not even to say that, like, you know, your lives and what you do aren't important, but, like, have some, you know, stay a little humble. You know, you got to be humble about it and realize, you know, like, I'm just one of, you know, millions. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know, what makes you think that your views are any more important than the next person's yeah and i mean especially you know like we're talking about um just to kind of go back real quick we're talking about uh what is it flaw the uh yeah the yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the, fr the vocalist of flaw yeah the vocalist of flaw and really like his whole stance he, you know he used the uh the n-word in in a derogatory manner with a whole bunch of fans i guess which is like phil said why the fuck are they even having shows Um, and, yeah. uh, you know, just, just totally, totally not getting the point of everything, you know, just, and, and just totally glossing over the whole fact of like, you know, why that word is looked at the way it is, you know, basically, yeah, like that is, that's just, you know, the classic white privilege stuff that, you know, he's never had to deal with that in his life. So he looks at it as in a certain way, in a certain light. But mm. at the end of the day, that doesn't make it any less than yeah. what it is, you know. So exactly. Just just <sighs> be smarter, people. Be fucking smarter. Always think before you do that. Or even just like all you know, like so sometimes I anything. You gotta be sometimes careful. Though. I think people are just thinking with their thumbs are like And they're like, I don't know what I write. Yeah, oh, people, fuck. you know, <laughs> you, you referenced, you referenced um, cancel culture. I almost think that shock culture is becoming really the, the big fucking, um, you know, like the big elephant in the room. Yeah. The idea of shock culture and the idea of like going on social media and going on Twitter and TikToks and all these other fucking platforms and basically just like having people go through because that's how you get viral now is like you do something ridiculous and then everybody goes oh my god yeah the fucking crazy you know like what's so crazy oh my god like 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 do the thumbs for fucking hours yeah hey thumbs 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 yeah exactly all that you know like that's that's exactly what what happened 
life doesn't make any sense. Maybe it's the beer talking, but it's I, not that. I'm, yeah, I'm just, I'm pro no opinions. <laughs> I'm pro, Honestly, I'm pro no opinions. <laughs> I have my own opinions, but if I have to say, it's because people ask me to say it. Yeah, I like, mean, if, I, 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 I don't, yeah. I don't distribute my opinions like fucking candy and like, hey, do you want my opinions? Oh, it's free. Like, look, <laughs> look, there, there's some free, free opinions, everyone. Do you want some opinions? It's 17 bucks. <laughs> like, fuck, I'm not, I'm not doing that. If I have, I have opinions, I will say it if the time is good. If the timing is good, I will say it. But yeah. in the end, I would take my opinions, I would shove it on my ass, I would keep it like that, and I would shit it when it would be time. Do that, peeps. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it sucks, too, because, like, the more I sit here and the more we talk about this, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, dude, I have a podcast where I give my opinion about bullshit all the time. <laughs> we are fucking like, hypocrites. We are. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking are. We're just hypocrites. But whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm no no, but, but, you know, we are and we are not at the same time. Because what uh, I said is like, fuck, like, you asked my opinion and I ask yours. And so we are in the good time to say yeah, it. Yeah, I guess. On social yeah. media, it's never the good time because I'm just waking up. I go on my social. I don't want to see your fucking opinions of fucking Trump or a fucking um, pumpkin pie or key lime pie. I don't fucking care about that. <laughs> I don't. I don't give a shit what your car looks like after it's detailed, mm. or even like, or even like what you had for dinner. Or where you are right now. I don't care. Don't care. Like, like don't do care. it for people that care, but uh, don't be like, oh, no one cares about people. <laughs> fucking. Oh. I won't say the P word, but fuck. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that brings us into our next one. <laughs> What is the next one? Um, well, I mean... You know, I did see one. I did see one thing on metal injection that was kind of worth it. I saw that uh, the drummer of Gate Creeper now has a new new project. Ooh. Yep. They're called. It's called uh, Blood Quest, Ooh. which is also going to be my shout out. Um, very much. Uh, it, it's it's like hardcore hardcore death, like that kind of that kind of newer sound, that Terminal Nation isk. Um, the vibe very much the vibe um creeping death to molds like uh i i really like it so mm. um you know that's i i saw that they had a nice little write-up about it um i like gate creeper i think that uh i listened to the new album uh it's just simply called blood quest self-titled yeah. uh it's pretty cool so uh definitely yeah go check that out dropped literally a couple days ago i think so um Voice. you know that's some quality news you know that's some good shit that i want to know dude give me that, all the slams yeah. give me all the fucking good stuff that's that's what i want i don't care about anything else just give me new music speaking of new music because i think we are now in shout out and we just don't care about transition anymore <laughs> so yeah. let, let's go on shout outs and i have to One, because, like, the first one, it's um, Frank Albanese from Half, uh, which is one of our, mm. the first alumni with, uh, P uh, with Peter. And, um, like, he posted on his social, listen. And he posted a link about a band called Stone Healer. Stone Healer. And I was like, okay. I will listen to it, Frank. Let's go listen to it. Six minutes later, I'm like, holy fuck, wh where is the, their band camp? I go on their band camp and I'm like, oh, there's a shirt and a CD. I bought it. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't thought about it. I just bought it because that band resembles like Mastodon with some big death metal vibe. 
And it resembles a little bit to uh, Ancient. I don't know if you know that band, Ancients. Um, it sounds uh, familiar. It, it's from Vancouver, I think, or from Canada. I'm not sure where, but that band is like it's mixing Mastodon and like a shit ton of death metal in it, but like progressive and death metal at the same time and stone eaters de- is doing the same the voice is a little bit like thinner a little bit more higher but dude like fuck it's so good it's so good like i, I bought the shirt and the cd like you understand why i i, I was in love with that band I-, I i'm still in love with it because it's so fucking good and my second shout out is a little bit longer, uh, or not, it depends. Uh, it's a mathcore band called Pupil Slicer. And they released their album recently called Mirrors. And holy shit, <laughs> this is so, so, such good shit. It's good shit, man. Like, yeah. you, you will appreciate it. Like, uh, there's some vibe of. Um, like basically Converge and Dillinger, but there's some vibe that reminds me of your other shout out that you did uh, for your elf. That reminds me of it. Oh, and by the way, for your elf wasn't punk at all. I listened to it, wasn't punk. <laughs> I'm just yeah, saying that, uh, like, I it's cop, power I violence, man. Or whatever. It's power, it's power violence. Yeah, honestly, like, I, I'm not one of these guys. I don't yeah, know. like it fits for, a bill. It's like it's like Gulch, and uh, I I yeah, fucking... like, it's a bit like Gulch, but yeah, yeah. like I, I'm saying that, but yeah, you 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 say it's punk good for me, it wasn't, but it's good for you. Like uh, uh, I yeah. feign ignorance <laughs> because uh, what I did is I just looked it up, and uh, they I kept seeing punk, so I was just kind of went with all right. Well, I got to describe it as something, so. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, it's really it's not pu- a type of music that uh, I I listen to often, so it's very I don't really know what to call it. Yeah, but it was, it was pretty good. But yeah, I uh, like it a lot. Pu- Pubis Slicer, Mirrors, fucking good album. Um, like it's intense, it's schizophrenic at some time. Oh the fuck! <laughs> like I I had good time listening to that. Listening to that album. So uh, Pupil Slicer and uh, Stone Healer. Uh, two fucking bands, Stone Healer. Uh, they will release their, I think it's an Alma or EP. I'm not sure. Uh, it would re- it would be released uh, very soon, and I'm excited to receive my copy of it. So stay tuned for that. Awesome. And yeah, mine was uh, obviously Blood Quest. Uh, check them out. Definitely more of a hardcore vibe, uh, but that's okay uh it's really good so um you know give them some give them some love they're just a three piece which i i like i like those fucking three piece fucking hard death bands you know that are just fucking they just do nothing but just sling sick fucking tunes all day it's awesome reminds me of my band (laughs) very mammoth like I think it like I I instantly thought of Mammoth Grinder when I started yeah. listening. To it. I just was like, ah, oh, dude, this is ah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Give me a space. <laughs> give me ma- give me grind. I I, I thought stuff. at first you stuff. said my Mammoth, Mammoth Grinder. I thought it was like um, a gay side for Mammoth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I found it. I saw it on Metal Injection, but it was actually it was uh, Yolane, uh, our buddy Yolane from Metal Minded, that uh, showed them to me. He he shot me a message uh, a couple days ago and sent it. Shout out to Yolane and Metal Shout Minded out to Yolane again. And Metal Minded, and uh, definitely check out what those guys got going on. Um, some big things at March. I don't know if some things have been announced yet, but uh, uh, yeah, I know it's announced. It's, it's announced. announced. So they, uh, it's a the show. It, it's a big show. It's a metal minded in your house. So like metal minded, uh, it's French, but like now it's a Slay at Home Festival in a way. But it would be like with Quebec band, uh, province of Quebec band. So 
a lot of bands from uh, from the province and one band from France. Uh, mm. The band is called Pidori. It could be another shout out if you want to check them out. Pidori, it's like um, it's straight up like grindcore, black metal, death metal, and all the extreme genre blended in one fucking band. Like it, it's it's in French. And I say it like that because it's not really in French because you don't fucking understand what they are saying. But mm -hmm. like Pilori, P-I-L-O-R-I, -I, fucking good. Fucking good stuff. It's intense, man. So uh, yeah. let's say it's another shout out and shout out to Metal Minded and Yolai. So like uh, it's on uh, March 26th. So check it out. Uh, we will put the link of uh, the events below so yes. check metal minded metal minded in your in your house and go give them some love yeah we you know right now it looks like looks like there's going to be shows in the future but right now these uh these little at home fests are the best we got so yeah, yeah. if you want to get some good vibes going it's better than, flaw. <laughs> better than flaw better than flaw yeah <laughs> oh god God damn. So, so well, yeah, so whatever. That brings us to the end, folks. Um sorry it's kind of scattered, you know, like I'm I'm still I'm all over the place, man. I, I'm still catching up on stuff. I'm still trying to get some things in yeah. order. The podcast might take a bit of a backseat, at least for a little bit, because um a lot of stuff in my life is just I'm still trying to get things to back in order, back together, and things like that. So um, yeah, so do maybe the best we if, can. so maybe if we don't have an episode, sometimes like don't worry, we will. We are still here. We are just like trying to get some stuff together. So uh, oh, and by the way, uh, I the the record for Overdose of Bacon, our first EP, it's uh, it's finished. So it will be out soon. Yes, so I'm just saying stay. like that. <laughs> stay tuned stay tuned for that stuff we'll try to post a little more uh just some different things um try to interact with you guys keep the uh keep our relationship you know on the good and up you know so we'll do we'll, you know try to do that you know it's just you know like phil's a busy man i'm a busy man we are you're busy man you're a busy person you know so what do you do you know what are you gonna do um we do busyness <laughs> we do all the busyness so all right Every guys busy. so uh that's all like i said that's all we got for you today uh thanks for listening i'm evan and i'm phil devites for the intimus thanks for listening to us folks and uh, have a good one and uh, stay tuned for our next episode cheers yeah